I think it would give us the time to present exactly what spotlight leadership is all about. Movement in seats? Well, off the top of my head, there's the new district seat in Montana. Then we've got the movement in Washington 6th and Oregon's 8th. Oh, <laughs> no, I decided to walk to work today. Ah, oh, it is such a beautiful day. Just taking it all. See you in a second. Spotlight leadership, where we help the little guys. You heard in the halls of power. How can I help you? This is Candace speaking. Hi, yes, I will get on that as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Did you happen to get oh, a I half know. grande mocha frappe, two sugars, oat milk? Sure did. Here you are. Now, I do understand that we do have some shakeups going on in Wyoming, but you're not thinking of taking the fight to the local level, are you? That's exactly why I wanted to talk to you. You're happy here, aren't you, Candace? Of course. Come on, we both know that you're destined for greater things. I could see you moving up in the next year or two. Hmm. But for now, we're thinking of pushing a candidate for the Wyoming Senate that could use you as a right hand. How did you know I'm Now, you're from Wyoming? Wyoming? Yeah. Lucky guess. Huh. Whereabouts exactly? Well, it's a small town you've never heard of. I think I've heard of Hearthstone. You're the perfect person for this job. There are some very close races in small country towns. I'm gonna send some uh, up-and-coming people with local connections to go help win those races. Wait a minute, I don't wanna have to go back to... Derek Casey? No, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. I know this guy, he was my best friend's brother. Well, I guess he would still be my best friend's brother, but no, he was... We went to high school together, and he was that classic, all-American, handsome, star pitcher. And I was, well, I was just me. Well, I think you need to put those old emotions away. If we put our thumb on the scale, he has a real chance of being senator someday. Derek Casey's fighting the good fight, trust me. Hey, Candace, you've got two weeks. You don't have a lot of time. How was your ride? Good. Oh, good. You okay? Just going over some notes for today's campaign push. You know, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. No, I want to, okay? Look, Hearthstone needs a mayor that's gonna prepare this town for the young lady you're becoming. So, what's the matter? If I'm being honest, our numbers are low, and if we're gonna win this thing, we need a miracle.
Uh, yes, ma'am. Hi. Here you go. Thank you for that. Been a while. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for my dad. Ah, uh, well, I actually called your dad, convinced him to let me come pick you up. You know, I thought maybe we could get this purse-related aggression out of the way before we got into the office tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a big city thing. Ah, it's all right. I've been hit with worse. Well, listen, this is my ride. You put your luggage in. Excuse me. <sighs> Does that thing have airbags? Nope. Oh, OK. That's fine. There aren't any breakables or laptops or anything like that in there. I wanted to say, you look great, by the way. All grown up. Thank you. I guess I'm not that geeky girl running for head of student council anymore. No. Ironic, huh? Very. Yeah. Well, listen, not a lot's changed around here. I mean, we got a new street light. That caused quite the kerfuffle. And then, uh, the aliens moved in and, uh, uh -huh. they started a computer company that makes space bars. Oh, come on! I've lost reception again. Welcome back to the two horse town of Hardstone, huh? Mm. Hey, to be fair, they had a baby. Three horses? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Now, are we going, or do you want to set up camp? Uh... There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll watch your yeah. the shoe things. They're stilettos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah stilettos. Stops along the way. The brakes work? Yeah, most of the time. It's good to see you. Great to see you. Father's gonna be up and out in the field before you even wake. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Alex is staying with us for a couple of weeks. Your brother is off doing some corporate thing. You don't mind watching her, do you? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, mm. Nighty -nighty. I'm okay with that. I love you. Morning, Auntie Candace. Oh, morning. Mm. What are you doing in my bed, anyway? I'm posting pics of you to my socials. Oh. I have never seen somebody text in their sleep before. Wait! What? No! This is so inappropriate, Alex. People are genuinely impressed that you Mom! can type with your eyes closed. This guy wouldn't date you because you're a workaholic. <laughs> How do you delete this? No. You know what? This phone is confiscated. What? Do that. Mom! Good morning, sweet pea. Coffee. I would love a coffee. Do you have a double espresso? Did you know that <laughs> Alex is... Yes, been here for a week already. And that is why you are going to take her under your wing and make her your new intern. I am? Yes, yes. you are. And it's so lovely that you two can spend a little time together and get the sound of that phone out of my home so that your loving mother doesn't hear another ticker talker to be if you know what I mean. Here, here's your coffee, sweet pea. Okay. <laughs> Don't I get a say in this? No. No. Thank you. And uh, what time do you actually have to go to work? Mm. I'm gonna leave and oh, I'm late. Look at the time. You. No more photos. Yeah, 
See what's taking her so long. Holy heck fire. Alex, how many times have we said no yelling in the house? I'm sorry. Oh, holy <laughs> heck fire. <laughs> Come on, intern. Ready to go to work? Well, I think you're gonna be needing these. <laughs> nice pro, Mom. Have a good day. Love you. Bye, Nana. Bye. Oh. Wait, wait, you passed it. You passed oh. it. No phones, please. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's the drill. I'm just here as a consultant, so technically, I don't have the power to do anything. So why are you here? Well, because my company sends people all over the country to help the good guys win elections. The little guys. Right. What's the problem, then? Well, the people don't like someone coming in from out of town and stepping on their turf and telling them what to do. But you're from here. Exactly why I'm here to do the job. Oh. So how do we convince them that you're here to help? And please, no Just boring corporate listen. stuff. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, come on. OK, and keep that phone down. Put it away. Oof. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How can we help you? Hi, I'm Candace. Derek must have told you that I'd be coming. Oh, you're the little helper. Oh, that's lovely. I uh, the little helper? Actually, I'm a campaign strategist from Washington, D.C. We've come here to help with your campaign. You want to see him win, don't we? Oh, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> so your name is, uh... Karen. Karen? Who's in charge of the oh, phones uh, around here? Derek has a policy, no um, uh, answered phones until 9.30. OK, well, we're going to change that now. Go ahead and take over. I'd love to answer that. Casey for mayor? Uh, how can I help you? Hi, uh, do you have some sort of a system here? Maybe you can uh, organize a little bit. Let's go into an alphabetical order, shall we? Sure. A to Z, not Z to A. Hi there. Do you mind just setting this up with kind of a color coordination family? I think. Uh, this can't be right. This is right. Oh, watch the box there. Hi, you. Grayson. Grayson, where is uh, Derek? Oh, he normally gets caught up helping people on his way in. Gotcha. Uh, what is this? It's our flyer. That is? Do you like it? It looks like he's trying to get pensioners to vote for a meat raffle. My thoughts exactly. I'll tell you what. I bet you've got a lot of followers on your social media platforms. Why don't I put you in charge of social media? I'll give you till the end of the day to come up with a great marketing strategy. I'm on it. Get those googly eyes back in your sockets. All right, so here it's the little things that really matter. Look, look at this. What do you think of this office? Is that a trick question? Come on. Coffee. Really? What do you know about coffee? Do you remember people's drink orders? What's mine? Some people like oat milk. Some people like skim milk. Some people want sugar. Some people don't want sugar. And that's the thing. If you remember those details, they will know that you really care. Right. OK, so how do you take yours? That's complicated. Oh, let me. And a double shot mocha latte on oat? <laughs> Yeah, that is completely normal in D.C. I like how they thought it was a type of bread. <laughs> OK, I said to remember people's drink orders, not to mock them for it. 
<laughs> Derek. Yeah. Alex, this is Derek. Derek, ah. meet Alex. Apparently his humor is still stuck in high school. You're still in high school. You're still stuck in high school. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Uh, I hope one of these coffees is for me, maybe. Oh. Okay, why don't you guys come meet the team and we can figure out how best to move forward, huh? Excuse me. Were we supposed to wait for him before you... Yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, and you're gonna love Karen. Hey, everybody, this is Candace. She's the one that I... Morning, boss. What happened? <laughs> okay, so we're actually gonna laugh about this. <laughs> are we? Yeah. Look how happy and efficient they are. But you talked to my team. Well, I wanted to hit the ground running. Okay, and, uh, yep. Yeah. I think you so, broke him. You know I think so, too. Uh, what's this? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, you know what? Uh, they sent you down here to give me help, right? And, uh, I... I took it. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Yeah. See? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Where's my everything? By the end of the day, you'll have a system in place that will make your everything easier to find. Ta-da! Smile. <laughs> I got to see you push a grown man to breaking point. It was awesome. Oh, no. You should see what the people are saying on my feet about that face. Okay, you know what? Just tell mom that I'm not going to be in for dinner. I have got to go sort this out. And take that post down. Yes, boss. just got back last night, and I know the first thing I should have done was come no, to see you. No, no, you've been working. Yes, I it's good to see working. you. Wow, everything is exactly the same. Yeah, mom and dad made a nice home. Least I can do is keep it that way while I'm running the place. Aw, how are they? Oh, so good. I'm, I think mom loves the camper van more than she loves dad. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, see, everything's broken. Just uh, the peace and quiet and your ability to snoop. I, I wasn't snooping, I was just... It's okay. Uh, I was a family snoop too, especially when my parents had guests over. I'm Candace. Hi. Hi. So she must be your... Oh, um, my niece. That would... But then that, that would mean that Derek... Yep, she's my daughter. Oh. What are you doing here? I, I came to see Stace. What are you doing here? No, I live here. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she took over the farm, needed some extra hands, so Naomi and I moved in. That's news to me. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a long story. Probably take about as long as your homework. Oh, Dad. Oh, no, come on. You know, you gotta get good grades so you can help me retire. Yes, Dad. <laughs> nice work, sweetheart. Um. Wine? Wine. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Small back. Hmm. Oof, I do not miss Windy, Wyoming. Yeah, I get that. Mm. So, did I detect some friction in there? Why? Can you say something? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, did he say something? <laughs> He said that you beat him around a little bit. He said that? Yeah. This is why I came to talk to you. I need your advice. I just, I can't get it out of my head. He was a high school jock. Now he wants to be a politician? I get that, but he's changed a lot since then, you know? Cut him some slack, you'll see. I have been cutting him slack. And if he keeps going the way he's going, well, he's gonna lose. Bye. 
I mean, that is one person's opinion. Uh, no, Derek, it's not. Look, you've managed to come so far with what little you've been given. Even my own boss took notice. But the reality is, Shane Miller is crushing you in the polls, and he's had the same seat for five years. Well, okay, well, I just realized my wine tastes worse with awkwardness, so I'm gonna let you two sort this out, and I'm gonna take this. Oh, yeah, by all means. Okay. So, uh, what do you suggest? I suggest that you buy in. I'm not the same kid sitting on the bleachers, pimple-faced, nerdy. None of us are. Look, can I, can I give you some backstory? <laughs> sure. Entertain me. When I graduated from high school, I felt pretty lost, OK? And you know how you hear those stories about people peaking early? And I was like, that's not going to be me. So guess what? I went to Africa. Africa? Yeah. Really? Yeah, went to Africa. I haven't even been to Africa. Yeah, there was this organization, OK, and they needed some extra hands to build schools and hospitals and such. And so I just broke up with Amy. I thought, why not? Go for it. Amy? Yeah. I remember her. Candace, look, we were just kids, OK? Now, she didn't tell me about Naomi right away. So I get back from Africa, and I'm just standing there. It's literally just me and this cute little pink baby. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say that I was ready to be a father quite in that moment, but uh, Amy wasn't ready to be a mother. You know, her career was taken off. And I mean, if you could see her now, her business is, you know, it's gone international. She's doing quite well for herself. And she's still Naomi's mother, but uh, but she just wasn't ready to be present here. I can relate to that. I guess what I'm saying is, look, I didn't just come up with these political aspirations overnight. You know, some things went wrong in the town. I tried to fix them, you know. But as Naomi gets older, well, I keep seeing way more things that need to be fixed. I want to make this world a better place for her. So, think you can get on board with that? I am on board with that. I have the same dreams of making the world a better place, except for I'm coming from the top down. Can you just meet me in the middle? I'll respect your goals, but I need you to respect my knowledge. OK, so what's that look like for you? Well. <laughs> well. How about I make a proposal? OK. You can't say no anymore. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> to everything? No, no, just campaign-related stuff. Well, what do I get out of it? You get to be mayor. OK. Uh, you know what? It kind of feels like I was on that trajectory already, to be I honest with you. I almost killed myself walking through those boxes in your office this morning. A little organized chaos. Uh, can you imagine what you would achieve with organized organization? Good point. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, listen, I mean, if you can, you know, agree that you're okay with the fact that my moral values are and always will be about making this world a better place for my daughter, then I will sign on that dotted line right here now. Okay, can we just add a vanilla latte, skim milk? I think we have a deal. <laughs> you guys have grown up so much. It's great to see. <laughs> yeah, and yes, she still eavesdrops. I do, yeah. <laughs> well, look at us. Cheers to adulting. Yes. OK, so just listen to Candace, all right? Whatever she asks you, just do it, you know? And oh, no, oh, hey, be respectful. Mind your P's and Q's. Yes, okay. Dad. Oh, and listen, if she asks you to do anything, uh, you know, DC, you know, just tell me, OK? Dad. No, I, thank you. Oh, Dad, it, we're going to be late. Yes. No, sir. Mr. Casey is born and bred in Hearthstone. Local candidate, local values. These are the finals for the Flyers, and I've got a bunch more folded and ready to go. Perfect. Love it, Grayson. Great job. Hi. Hi. 
This should be good. At least you spoke first. Ready to get your head in the game? Yeah, I mean, you told me I couldn't say no, right? <laughs> All right. Can I just get everyone to stop what they're doing and come over here just for a minute? Yeah, everybody bring it in. Whoa. Come on. Karen? Yeah. OK. All right, now, first off, I do want to commend you for all of your hard work and how far you've gotten. I mean, it is incredible what I've seen. Grassroots has got nothing on you. <laughs> Thing is, we're only a week away, and we are still trailing behind significantly. We want independence to win, don't we? <laughs> we want to be able to climb up that ladder and to be able to fix things in our local communities. So I've been in the game a little too long, and it's not easy. OK, so uh, what do you suggest? We're going to need community outreach. That means everyone's going to get on the streets, going door to door, handing out flyers, and letting them know who Derek Kesey is and what he stands for. OK? Now, second, well, we're going to have to do something about this. Oh, thank goodness. What, what, what do you mean, this? People don't like to vote for someone who doesn't know how to dress himself. Well, well, I dressed myself this morning. I wouldn't brag about that, Dad. It's politics. Optics matter. Now, thirdly, I'm setting up a meeting with the local community council. We are going to need their endorsement if you want to cross over that line. Finally, we're going to need a stump speech. We want people to know who Derek is and why they need to vote for him. Now, I'm thinking of doing this maybe a day before the election. So, Karen, do you have a location in mind for that speech? Ooh, I have some ideas. Uh, you give me the afternoon, and I'll give you some options. Perfect. Now that you're on that, maybe you can also give me a list of community events. I'd love to drop in on them. Oh, oh. You got it. Yeah? Now, Grayson, you have your things printed off here, all the flyers? Yep, absolutely. I've got it all covered, boss. Perfect. Sounds like we're off to a great start. Let's get to it. Yay, Casey! <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's a lot to do. Huh? these are just the day-to-day -day errands that you don't have to worry about anymore. You can just focus on the big picture now. Plus, you've got to write that speech, Dad. Yeah, well, you don't worry about that, OK? You just get the microphone rolling, whatever you use. I can help you if you'd like. I can send you a website. It'll just write the speech for you. Oh, OK. Uh, well, I mean, if I need a one-hour stand-up comedy act, I'll uh, definitely reach out to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, let's get cracking. Uh, OK. Get that speech written. Yeah. Come on, ladies. Flyers, this way. Lost a lot of games here. Won a lot more, though. Did you win? I remember you winning more than losing. <laughs> OK. Hi, boys. Hey. You, you know them? I, I, I thought we were meeting the church administrator so we could grab the keys, talk about the speech. Yeah, I am meeting up with her. And she has agreed, although we do have a couple of stipulations to fulfill. Stipulations? Where are they going? Conditions. OK, conditions. Yeah. Like what? Nothing too crazy. I mean, you got a couple of meet and greets with the boys. FaceTiming, that kind of thing. It's good for social media. You ready, ladies? OK, what on earth is going on here? What? You're a local legend. Boys just want to play a few drills with you. Drills? Yeah. Passes, plays. Pitches, hits. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, whatever this is, you're having way too much fun. <laughs> I am not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> OK, we need to bring any bats, gloves. Yeah. Does that count? <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Casey? Wasn't it uh, soccer that you were really good at? You know it wasn't. It was baseball. Yeah, there you go. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. OK, I know what this is. It's a setup. I can roll with that. OK, you know what? Let's go, boys. <laughs>
now resuscitate your candidate. My, my cardio is not what it used to be, that's for sure. Oh, don't you worry, I can. Excuse me, your daughter is just over there, sir. Is there anything you want her to hear to remember you by? Well, hopefully she remembers that I made the best peanut butter and jam sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. Karen is so good. You might not notice the people around you being that great, but let me assure you, she is exceptional. You know what? I am extremely thankful for the people in that office. <laughs> so, did we get the church? Sure did. Free of charge. All thanks to that publicity stunt we pulled. <laughs> oh, speaking of that footage, I mean, do we really need to release that in the public? Me get my butt kicked by a bunch of teenagers? Absolutely. Are you kidding? You should have seen your smile. It was ear to ear the whole time. Well, except for when the kids got a few shots in on you. You had this face that was more like a... <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay. Don't read the comments. I won't. It's pretty bad. <laughs> no, but really, uh, you were a good sport. You listened to my knowledge, and you accepted my help. I might just prefer this new and improved Derek Casey. Okay, well, thank you for taking a gamble on me. Well, that's more of a calculated risk. <laughs> the kids did spin circles around you, though. They did, yes. <laughs> Those kids talking to my daughter. Hey, but... What a dad. <laughs> Glad you guys are having okay, fun. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's pretty fast. Hey, watch the wow. <laughs> Who's driving this? Stop. Okay. Ready? Uh, kinda. And Mr. <laughs> Candidate. Okay, uh, yeah. What exactly is this? Well, if you're gonna be a serious contender, you're gonna need some serious contender clothing. I have clothes. Oh, we know. I have nice clothes. Like what? Um, what, what do you mean? Whose side are you on? The side that stops you wearing those old shirts? That it's since high school. Yeah, I can smell. No, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Okay, okay well, you know I'll what? Enough dragging on. your feet. Yeah. Here. Oh, arms out. Boom. What? That's a good first batch. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, batch? Yeah. There's more? Oh, Come on. Change room. I'm using the bathroom. Go to the right. Turn around. Okay. Go, go, go. No, hey, there what? you go. On the right. On the right. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> All those clothes from the thrift store, right? <laughs> what? Yep. It was just a big joke. Oh, big joke, huh? Oh, come on. That's a big joke, I see. <laughs> we like you being you. You know, you've got the folksy charm and the rugged aesthetic. We just want to clean you up a bit. That's all. <laughs> We're not done yet. What? What do you mean? <laughs> what? No, what? <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, are we eating? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're giving you a facial. No on the facial. Was that a no, Dad? That was a no. But it's organic. And when was the last time you exfoliated? Exfoli what? You know, clean out your pores. My pores. It's important. <laughs> Ladies, don't make him too pretty. I like, I mean, they like him rugged. Yeah, no. It'll be refreshing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wanna just sit here? Lean back. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, I just don't see how that will help out local businesses. Hmm. Well, this is the thing, Mary. Mm. Okay, if we can create our own brand of Western tourism, then we can help the farmers get through the harder seasons. Like, think about it. These tourists, right? They need a place to stay, a place to eat, a place to shop. I mean, they can shop local produce, local art. Mm -hmm. huh? oh, 
You are a smooth one. I'll give you that. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Now get this on video. What's so funny? Can I help you, ladies? Oh, mm. just observing you, enjoying your new skincare routine. Mm. <laughs> uh huh. Thought it was called the facial. Didn't you say it was a facial? Yeah. Facial. Facial. Yeah. Where were we, Mary? These are your voters. This is all of them? <laughs> kind of hope maybe we had a little more. Ha ha. Come on. Let's go meet the people. Meet the people. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's meet the people. There's Tony. He just fixed his SUV last month. Oh, there's Stella. She's got Excuse the me. best bakery in town. Hands down. Okay? This is Craig over here. He will eat all the corn dogs. So if you want one, you better get in line. I'm serious. <laughs> Look. I can play this game all day, okay? I truly believe that you gotta look people in the eye and know their name. I know these people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just again wanted to thank you all, and especially our wonderful bakers, for coming out and making our event such a rousing success. Yeah. Come on. Hi. Woo. Now, I know we've had a harder season than most, but with a little luck, we're gonna pull through just fine. What's the matter? Oh, it's just not about luck. Well, if only there was a leader who would say something. Yeah, but we all know that's not enough, right? Look, you, you all know me, okay? Some of you know me more than others, right, Stella? You, you've seen me in diapers. <laughs> now, Bill, I partly agree with what you were saying. It has been a tough time for a lot of people, right? And sure, with a little luck, maybe that'd get us just across the line. But you know what? Hearthstone wasn't built on luck, was it? No, it's built on hard work, community, people coming together, right? Jason Tibby, you know what I'm talking about. There's not a night that doesn't go by that I drive past his house and he's not outside working on somebody's vehicle or some piece of farm equipment. And you know what? He retired 15 years ago. He's never charged a dime. Debbie, Hearthstone Cafe. Not sure if she's gonna charge you for your lunch, but guess what? Comes with a fantastic cup of joe. <laughs> but I know what you're doing in the evenings, okay? Yeah, she's taking all the leftover food to all the families that need it. You think that happens by luck? No. It happens because the people of Hearthstone believe in their hearts that we must never grow weary of doing good. Okay, we learned when we were young that those who endure are safe, right? Iron sharpens iron. You ever heard that? Well, I believe that the people of Hearthstone have the grit and the grace to truly live that out. This is my community, and I'm proud of you. And I know Bill's proud of you, and I agree with Bill, and we're very thankful that everyone came out to the bake sale today, so please, I'll stop talking now and everybody just go buy everything, okay? Iron sharpens iron? Yeah, yeah, uh, no, I guess that one uh, came out of Sunday school from when I was a kid. Don't look now, Mr. Casey. I think the people of Hearthstone have just found the right candidate who will shake things up. ride with me? No, it's fine. Grayson's coming, and we're gonna pick up Naomi on the way. Youth mobile, so we can blast some decent music. Hey, I listen to decent music. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, don't be late. Derek has booked the lane for six o'clock, and you know he's keen to get there, so he can feed everyone before playing. If you're lucky, we might just get a frame in before eating. I never thought a decent one try to force me to go bowling as a thank you. Don't be late. <laughs> you got it. Bye. Hi, 
boss. I think that Derek could be a solid choice to push up for that center position in a few years. But narrative is everything. I need you to get him talking about big moves and bold steps in his next few public appearances. Yes, sir. I I'm on it. I agree. He's perfect for that position. I'll start laying the groundwork right away. Sounds good to me. Enjoy your night. You too. Bye-bye. Hey! Hey! You the first one here? Yeah? Well, Alex and Grayson are going to pick up Naomi. Where's uh, Karen? I haven't heard from her yet. Hey, I took a ballpark. Six? Six and a half, but close enough. Oh. But thank you. Ah, uh, well, try them on. <laughs> How was traffic? What traffic? You get stuck behind Norm? Does he have that track? Yeah. He's only got one gear. <laughs> He's probably not even that fast. You know, your skin looks pretty good after that facial. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, it's kind of soft. You can feel that. Let me see. Ooh, nice. When are you going to book your next appointment? No. It's probably practice. <laughs> I am so glad we didn't do the bowling thing. Mm. I hate bowling <laughs> almost as much as I love pizza. Mm. Everything okay? It's Aunt Candace again. I told her that Grayson just picked us up and that they can get started without us. <laughs> and what are you two conspiring about? Nothing. Doing a little parent trapping, are we? A little what? Parent trapping. The parent trap? <laughs> are these two being deliberately obtuse, or, or have they genuinely never heard of the parent trap? They're just having a little fun. And they're not hurting anyone, are they? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Here it is. Here it is. Give it a blow for good luck. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're going to need it. Here we go. Ready? Oh, oh what? Now that is a nail on the coffin. <laughs> yeah. OK. Watch this. Let's see. Oh, nice one. Woo. You must really love it here. Hmm? I do, yeah. And you know what? I love the idea that my family's down the road and my neighbors are right next door. Well, I mean, what's that like for you in D.C.? What? I got neighbors next door in D.C. No, when I was in college, it was pretty lonely. But throughout the years, I found my friends, and we've all left our own hometowns. I do miss it here, but I get the best of both worlds. I can come here, see Stacy, see my mom and dad, and I get back there, and I get back to work. What if you had to choose just one world? What if you had to choose? Okay. <laughs> Way to not answer me. I know that it's just for fun, but wouldn't it be so funny if this actually did set them up? What do you mean? Like, if my Auntie Candace became your new stepmom, what would that make you? My cousin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> You know what, once you have a kid, this, things change. <laughs> Priorities change, right? All of a sudden, it doesn't matter as much if your clothing matches or your office is clean. I don't know, you just don't care about optics, and quite frankly, sometimes you just don't care what people think. I guess some things just don't change, huh? Although that shirt can. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, you could do better. That. I do see how you connect with the people out there, especially at the bake sale. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Maybe you aren't totally helpless without me. Not totally helpless. Without Candace. <laughs> New ad campaign slogan? It can be. Maybe we cut the Candace. <laughs> Go on. OK, OK. Oh. Okay, now I see where they ended up. Those little sneaks. 
Well, this was for them, so so that they could blow off some steam. If they prefer pizza, well, I guess you can't blame them. Nope. So we're done. Yep, all done. Thanks for whooping me, by the way. Ah, anytime. You might want to practice up. Maybe I'll uh, be open to a rematch. I'd like that. Would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, what's tomorrow? Don't. We have the council meeting, remember? We're hosting them. Do not leave me hanging. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that, man. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Time to you call this young man? Oh, okay, Mom. Figured you would have been in bed by what, 5 p.m.? <laughs> nah, Naomi only just got in, so I was up. Mm. How was your night? Um, good, I think. Yeah? She seemed a bit quiet when she got in, but you know, teenagers. Yeah. How was your night? Uh, it was pretty good, actually. Yeah, Candace was uh great. Well, I mean, a little less of a pain in the neck than I thought she was going to be. OK. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, big brother. Hey, yeah, uh, don't stay up too late. Big day tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. You just know it'll be hard to sleep. Why? That smile on your face. What, what smile? Nana told me to come wake you. Ugh, by taking selfies? And she didn't say how to do it. She just said to do it. So I'm showing you initiative. Wow. I am so tired. Mm. Bowling really takes it out of you. Mm -hmm. Ugh, what time is it anyway? Uh, like 8.30? What? I slept through my alarm. Oh, oh, oh. No. Okay, 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 okay. Just, uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah. 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 They're not here for another five minutes. OK. All right. Oh. And uh, Alex is parking the car? Alex! Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> My mom's going to bring her. <sighs> I don't know what's gotten into me. Ever since I've come back into town, I just, it's really been a number on me. I am never late to work. Hmm. See. I'm on time, you're on time, and the person who doesn't live here is late. I wonder how it's the town's fault. Beats me. I'm hoping she'll explain it to him. All right, all right. You win. <laughs> Where's Derek? Is he in the back? He's not with you? Why would he... he... He's not here yet? Get him on the phone. I'm sorry, please. Come with me. <laughs> So uh, I, we need to call Stacy or someone. I mean, they're gonna be here in any minute. And I specifically, I especially wanted to uh, welcome our esteemed guests, council members. Welcome to our campaign headquarters. Uh, so great of you to show up <laughs> right on time. Lovely. So I, I, I assume there there wasn't any traffic or anything like, or no car accidents, or it's just just simple, easy on time schedule thing. 
Great, right this way. Please go ahead and uh, have a seat. Thank you so much for your time. Now, I do need to offer you a sincere apology for Derek uh, not being here, actually. He did, though, however, uh, brief me uh, on all of his uh, plans and his strategies uh, that I will be happy to go over uh, with you. Um, <clears throat> but he was pulled into a, a meeting at the last second, which will mean great things for Hearthstone. Uh, so on that note, he, he does value you uh, being here, which is why I'm not uh, at the other meeting with him, and instead I'm here with you. So shall we, uh, sh shall we get started? Stop it, you. You make me want to move back to town, or at least to Cheyenne. <laughs> but then again, who's gonna make me my fancy barista coffees, huh? All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I knew we could count on you. Take good care. Bye now. Bye-bye. So. <sighs> Seriously? Oh. Karen, give me some good news. Well, I can't give you a lot, but he has been spotted by my neighborhood watch network. Really? Absolutely. Linda has him leaving the house at 6.15. 6, that doesn't make sense. He would have been here by now. But Kimberly saw him hang a left and, and speed off down Turpentine Road. But that's the complete opposite direction. But there's nothing down there but Patterson's farm. I, I called Brenda Patterson, but there's no one picking up at her place. That's, uh, what are you doing? I'm ready to capture the action, boss. No, no, you're staying right here. I've got a few choice words for Derek that are not fit for the internet. Not fit for the internet? Has she been on the internet? What time is it? What time? It is actually too late o'clock. In fact, it is you missed our meeting, AM. Oh, I mean, I tried to call you, honestly, I did. You know how reception is out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Reception. It's, it's just, it's horrible reception, isn't it? So what, instead you just decided to come out here and play Mr. Builder? You were gonna wear this to the meeting, were you? Yeah. Could wear it in the campaign. Then just don't change the topic. I didn't. And I answered your question. Why didn't you show up? Look, the Pattersons gave me a call on the way out the door, okay? They told me their fence collapsed, all right? So I thought I could swing by and just help them out before I got to the meeting. The entire family's out there looking for their cattle right now. They're gonna bring them back here, but there's no point bringing them back here if the fence isn't fixed. So I'm fixing the fence. You know you risked torpedoing your chances with city council, right? All right, well, what do you want me to do about it? You owe me big time. You should probably know that I put that fire out for you. I showed up and I ran the meeting. Congratulations. You got the endorsement. Put it here. <laughs> You've got a fighting chance now. Okay. <laughs> Gotta learn to work smarter, not harder. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs>
when we were all hands on deck. And I've got an idea. Do you happen to know anyone in the local press? Thanks. What's this all about? I wonder. Oh. Called Karen. I asked her to organize a couple of extra hands. If you're gonna lead, you're gonna need a couple of hands to follow, huh? Hey, well, I recognize that last week, well, that's the local news. You called the press? Mm -hmm. You might need to dust off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You look great. Mr. Case. Yes. Look, I'm not really wanting to stand around and chat too much while people are working hard, okay? Of course, I understand that. I'd just like to know what you're doing here today. Aren't there more pressing issues for your campaign? More pressing issues for my campaign, hey? Well, I mean, what's more pressing than helping a friend, right? Honestly. Now, yes, I know that the Pattersons are potential voters of mine, okay? But I'm not here as a politician. Mm. Just here as a neighbor. Here's a father who has a daughter that I'd like to protect. And to be honest, when I look out at all the people in power, you know, the ones that are deciding how we're gonna live, well, I just see a bunch of people doing a half-hearted job. That's what I see. So for me, a campaign, it's about friends, family, neighbors, community. That's what I'm about. And building fences. And what about outside influence? It's been said you've been receiving support from Spotlight leadership to build a bigger political career. Okay. Well, let me be clear on that point then. Look, I'm running in Hearthstone for Hearthstone. Okay, I'm not trying to build a political career. I'm not trying to be a politician, okay? I'm trying to build a community. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. What, uh, we're not gonna rule that out, of course, is what Mr. Casey's actually saying. He's saying, first, Hearthstone, and then we'll see, right? Well, Hearthstone first. Last and always, yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really gotta get back to helping these folks. Of course. You want life in Hearthstone. Back to you, Tom. I know. This interview's gonna upset some people that we're trying to work with. Right. They're looking to invest in a potential leader, a candidate. And not throw money at some guy who wants a quiet life. And he he is. He's the, he's the right candidate for us, trust me. Except he doesn't want this. No, no, he does. He just doesn't know it yet. Look, Candace, if this is a losing battle... Please, just, just let me talk to him. 24 hours? Please. Okay. Let me make some phone calls. Okay, I am so gonna need a shower when I get home. <laughs> yeah, that's what country living does for you. Yeah, I've noticed. You know, I think that my Auntie Candace has noticed too. What do you mean? Uh, your dad. <laughs> I think she likes him. Maybe our parent trapping worked a little too well. <laughs> You're not saying anything. You know, you didn't say anything the other night either when I made a joke about it. <laughs> Are you okay? Look, I like you, okay? You're you're sweet and you're funny and if you live local, but your aunt? She's not good enough for my dad. Excuse me? She's not. He's all about helping people and fixing things. But your aunt Candace? She's only here because she's being paid to be here. It's not like that. I mean, sure, she has a job to do, but she really cares about the people. And what do you mean she's not good enough? Not good enough to be my mom. You are just like her. Neither of you care about anybody here.
can fix this. 24 hours, huh? How do I convince a man to set his sights on bigger things? Especially a man who's given up everything for his daughter while building schools in Africa. A man who's given up his entire career. Or he's willing to, at least, just for the sake of his neighbors. Am I the bad guy? No. No, I'm, I'm helping him. How do I convince him of his own potential? Alex's phone. I bet she's got something on that. Alex? Hey, it's Alex. Leave a message. Why won't you answer? Things. There we go. That one's dry. <laughs> oh. Hey. Who it is? Wasn't expecting her. She came to see you, maybe? I don't know. Candace, hey. Stace, hey, Derek. Hey, we should probably no, talk. No, no, this is not a good time. I'm, I'm actually looking for Alex. Well, Naomi, but Alex. Oh. Is Naomi here? Uh, yeah. Hey, Naomi. You come out here a sec? Naomi, have you seen Alex? Is everything okay? We had a fight. About what? I, I don't no, know. it's okay. You know, I, I don't need to know what the fight is about. It's getting late. I just need to find her. We went up Hearthstone Mountain this afternoon and and then we had a fight and and she took off and I left her there. What? You left her there? I know. I know it was dumb. No, I mean, that's not okay. Look, she, she's not a local. She doesn't understand. She doesn't know her way around. I'm sorry. It's gonna get it's dark. Okay. I'm not mad. I, I just need to find her. Hey, let's take my truck, okay? Hey, Stacy, could you just call Dan and a couple of the boys and uh, just make sure we got a couple extra cars up there? Of course. You guys get moving. Thanks for telling the truth, honey, okay? Look out, her valley. Look out. She stopped replying to texts over an hour ago. Where are we? Alex! Alex? Alex! How are we ever gonna find her here? Reception. Okay. Do you hear that? Yeah. The phone. Yeah. Where is it? It's, it's definitely at the lockout. It's this way. Come on. Hey, Alex. Alex. Someone around here. Yeah. I just, I made a stupid joke about you and Derek, and, and then, and then Naomi said that, 
her dad is a good person and he fixes things and 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 that you're not a good person which which would made me defend you and made me sound like I'm not a good person and I just I don't have a lot of friends and I thought that Naomi cared about me she, yes, she does I mean we all care about you I'm your friend hmm? I'm even better I'm your auntie <laughs> can't be sitting here all night by yourself. No. Let's talk all about this at home, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, sweetheart. Come on. Give me your hand. You'll be all right. Come on. Okay. You kind of freaked out, huh? Me? Nah. It was actually kind of nice. Oh, yeah? How's that? Well, to not have your phone dinging from your niece every five seconds. <laughs> you love it. Don't lie. No, really. I almost planned a spa day. <laughs> hey. Here you go, kiddo. Thanks. Let's get you in the truck. Okay. Here, yeah. honey. Just give me a minute. Okay. She'll be fine. Sorry about this. They're kids. Kids do stupid things. No, I'm sorry about everything. Just the reporter of this. Ah, oh, it's Dan. I told him that we found her, so... I think it's just best if maybe you just take her straight home. You know, that way you guys can warm up. Come pick those up in the morning. I should go. Yeah. Hmm. Did you just smell the car? No, I didn't smell the car. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You like him. What? No, I like you. Just relieved that we finally found you. Well, I'm sure glad you like the smell of relief. Handsome, rugged, sweet relief. Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> So, any more last minute brainwaves? I'm still working on it. I, I I just need a little more time. I hate doing this, but we really need a win in Wyoming. I've set up a call with Shane Miller. Shane Miller? As in Derek's opposition, Shane Miller? We can't think like that anymore. Derek is a non-event. Sir, Shane Miller has held the same seat for years. You know he's making deals with the wrong people. Well, we can't do anything with people that aren't in power. Miller has the right political aspirations. We have investors we have to answer to. Maybe you can turn them on to the right path. Sir, with all due respect, Spotlight Leadership is about promoting the right people. We're not about investors. Yeah, and the right people are the people that we can actually work with, Candace. Please, don't be so naive. I'm not.
Hey. Oh, hey, you two. I thought we could sit outside. Oh, this is great. Will your parents be joining us? Uh, no. They're out date night. Mm. Alex! So, did you have a good day at work? It's a quiet day. What are you trying to say? I'm the only one that makes noise around there? <laughs> <laughs> what about tomorrow? Are you ready for your big speech? Um, more or less, yeah. Oh, and thank you for everything. Really, you've been uh, instrumental in getting us to where we are right now. It's what we do. Right. Spotlight. I know what you're thinking. It, it, it's not like that. You have no idea what it's like to be just two steps up on the ladder. The opportunities that that brings. We need you, someone like you, to guide the people. You actually care about your community. You don't care about the political establishment. No. Not at all. Look at what we've done in the last week. We've created a sense of community. Imagine that sense of community being spread all around Wyoming and even further. That's the thing, I don't need to spread it all over Wyoming or further. Look, I know I didn't go to university for this stuff like you, okay? But I understand that if I go one more rung up that ladder, this whole thing turns into a game. It's just lobbying and dinners and donors. All I want to focus on is making sure this is a great community for my daughter. Why, I don't understand, why do you keep pushing this? Because I want you to win. Besides, my boss called me, and if, if you don't want this, I'd have to move on and help Shane Miller. Shane Miller. Okay. So this, this is the company that you want me to be in debt to. No, no, no. It's, it's not like that. It's exactly like that, Candace. Okay? You, you can't look at me in the eye with the same confidence about this company as you do with everything else. Ask yourself, is Spotlight honestly the altruistic company that you think it is? Or is this just the same old song and dance? I am not so naive to think that I can change a broken system with no power. What are you going to do if you don't win? Are you just going to sit next to the Pattersons and complain the next time their fence breaks? The government isn't helping them. They can't pay their bills. If you really care about the people. That's why I'm running. I just don't think this is in your DNA. Hey, Naomi. You need your keys. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hi, uh, Mr. Miller? Hi, it's Candace. I work with Gavin. I was hoping that we could maybe set up a time to have a proper conversation. Sure. Tomorrow? That's great. Okay, sir, I will speak with you tomorrow. What? No. No. Uh, it's fine. Look, I came here to do a job, right? And I did it. And if Derek nails his speech, well, then I'll have gotten him elected. Derek is exactly the kind of person who should be in politics. And if he doesn't want to sign up to move towards senator one day, I have to go and support this other guy whose politics I don't particularly agree with. And it's because Spotlight is putting me up to this. I didn't think that this was the kind of company that I was a part of. So then just quit. Why is it too late to start something new? Because Spotlight is a place that I had aspired to work at all this time. I thought that they were the good guys helping the good guys. And you can't do it without them? It's complicated. It's more complicated. Come on. Coco, for your thoughts? Oh, wow. Yes, please, and thank you. Yeah. So, what's up? I oh, was just thinking about that speech. You know, not really much of a talker. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> I remember you giving a speech at your last pep rally. Oh, no, we're not going there. Yeah, we are. No. Yep. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> Who would have thought that self-centered jerk would grow up and mature to wanting to lead the whole town? And, in doing so, kick enough butt they hear about it across the country. Oh, please don't quote me <laughs> to me, okay? Especially teenage me. Oh, man, I just hate the thought of Naomi going to school with a bunch of dudes like me. Mm -hmm. Imagine that? You weren't so bad. Oh, well, thank you. Hey. I knew about you and Candace back then. That's why she left, I think. You know, she was hurt. I do know she really liked you. Yeah. Well, I was, um... I was stupid. Well, I have seen the way you guys look at each other, then and now. Heck, I don't think you've come home one day this week without talking all about the great Candace. Well, I'm pretty sure I messed this up. Maybe. But you know what? Ever since you started raising Naomi, you have been looking out for everyone else. Maybe it's time you do something for yourself for once. Hmm. When did you get so wise? I don't know, it just happened. Yeah, but how? Oh. Good question. <laughs> Your speech is going to be great. Mm. Is this mom's recipe? Yeah. You so can tell. Good. I know. Nice night. not here to cause any problems. It's just that your dad asked... That was me. What was you? The text? I took his phone and sent you that message. You cheeky thing. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. I'm... I'm not mad. I'm just... I'm... I'm confused. I know. Alex told me she told you about our fight. I hope that didn't... I didn't mean No, to... it's... It's a... It's okay. You know, conflicts between adults, it's just silly stuff. I mean, in this case, it was mostly my issues, but... Not all of them. What do you mean? <laughs> Where'd you get that? How did you... Alex and I came back after dinner to spy on you. And convince Grayson to buy us fries. See, you two definitely have a future in espionage. Let me just say. <laughs> My dad's a good man. A nice man. But I don't always think he's a happy man. Ever since you came back to Hearthstone, his smiles glow. That's because of you. If you've got any interest, I want to, I want to give you permission. And you're right about Spotlight. It's 
probably why you told Alex that you were worried about me being a bad person. I know, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Candace, have you had a chance to talk to Miller yet? Hey, Gavin. Guess what? I quit. What? And I am going to stay and help Mr. Derek Casey run for this election and win. No, okay, Candace, wait. Oh, and after that, I think I might just, uh, I don't know, run for city council and I'll see you around. Wait, wait, wait Candace, we can. <laughs> All right, well, that's done. I'm going to go have a chat with your dad. Hey, there you are. <laughs> ah, how you doing? Thanks for coming. <laughs> Go for it. Hey. Hey, hi. Listen. Hey. Look, I really gotta talk to you. I'm not right now. I've got a speech. No, I could care less about that. Just keep your head in the game. No, I'm thinking clearly, all right? <laughs> what are you doing? What? It's about the little things, right? You taught me that. Where, where are you going? I'm gonna go warm them up. What? Uh, hi, everyone. Hi there. <laughs> hi. Uh, my name is Candace, for those of you who haven't met me yet. Uh, I actually am from here. I grew up just 20 minutes down the road. I left, I followed my heart and my big dreams in Washington, D.C. I've been working as a campaign strategist and I was sent right back here to win over Derek Casey. <laughs> and I was this close to having him join the system. But oof, did I underestimate Derek. He's got big ideas, grand ideas. <laughs> Why? Because he is not a politician. No, he's a man. He's a neighbor, he's a son, he's a brother, and he's a father. He's a man who loves his daughter very much. He doesn't subscribe to one ideology or another. He operates from his heart. He loves the people all around here. He loves this town. And obviously, you all love him. He's a good man. So when it comes time to vote, don't vote for this politician or that politician. Vote for love. What the, what, uh, what was that? I don't know what to say. Well, don't you have a speech written for you? No, I, I meant to, yeah, I meant Karen <laughs> put it on cue cards for me. Well, just a word of advice. Lose the cue cards. What? Woo! <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, so much for my stump speech. Uh, I don't have a log to stand on anyway. And uh, to be honest, I'm still quite stumped from that speech you just gave, Candace. Uh, thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll just keep mine simple. Uh, my name's Derek Casey, and uh, I'd love to be your mayor. <laughs> oh, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Um. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm sure we could all agree that we've made some mistakes in life, right? Yeah, I know I have. Some bigger than others. I'd like to talk about one of those right now, if that's okay. Candace, you won me over a long time ago. I just didn't know it yet. So I know I already have a vote for my daughter, right? Okay. <laughs> but the vote that matters most to me right now and that's, um, it's yours. Because you got my heart. So, what do you say? You've got my vote, Derek Casey. <laughs> With all of my heart. <laughs>